Chancellor George Osborne faces a fresh attack on his credibility this weekend, rounding up a bad week for him and the British economy. On Wednesday, as all eyes were on Margaret Thatcher's estimated £10 million funeral, it was announced that there had been a sudden jump in unemployment. And on Friday, the second major international rating agency, Fitch, stripped the UK of its AAA status. The pound fell immediately. It's been described as another humiliating blow for George Osborne. Well, I do think it's a humiliating blow because um, he could have maybe prevented this downgrade. If you're the government and uh, you're a AAA government and you like to brag that you've kept that status and then suddenly two of the agencies have now downgraded you to AA+, then you're not particularly happy. Standards & Poor is now the only major rating agency who restored the UK as a AAA country earlier this month. Now even they are saying there's at least a one in three chance they'll follow suit and downgrade again as well. Even the International Monetary Fund, once a key promoter for austerity, has warned Osborne he's playing with fire and that he needs to slow the pace of the cuts. Earlier in the week, the IMF downgraded the UK economic forecast and they're warning that Britain badly needs a plan B. At the end of the road is probably you won't get re-elected because to, to get re-elected you need to get economic growth and jobs and of course the youth unemployment problem. Hey, did he do anything about the youth unemployment problem? We've now got 23% youth unemployed in the UK and yet nothing was done. We continue to bail out the banks, we find money to do that, we let Royal Bank of Scotland give out bonus 600 million when they've lost 5.2 billion and we're not prepared to invest in our youth. If Osborne had that Friday feeling thankful that a bad week at work was behind him, he would have woken up with the blues because there was even more criticism on Saturday. The influential Treasury Select Committee published a damning report on his flagship housing policy. It seems Osborne simply isn't getting anything right. If I was to mark him out of 10, I'd probably give him a mark of 1 or 2 out of 10. He's trying to cut the fiscal deficit, he's trying, so the intent is there, but he's failing because he's not getting the economic growth. Despite constant and sometimes quite severe criticism, George Osborne says he'll be sticking to his guns and continuing with his austerity plans. Next month, the IMF is here in Britain compiling a report about the country's economic policy. Osborne says he'll listen to their advice as long as he agrees with it, and that's what critics are concerned about. They say if George Osborne is not going to listen to anyone except those who agree with what he's doing, he may be walking the whole of Britain right over the fiscal cliff. Nagas Mobile Levy, Press TV, London.